Hi there, this is GIST Nigeria. Coming up on the program, Quick Money will look at rising cases of ritual killings by young Nigerians. Combating malaria, Cape Verde records zero local transmission in three years. My name is Abraham Grade. Check me out. The humanitarian using his platform to help Nigerian students advance their studies. Welcome to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television, where we bring you stories making the rounds on social media. I am Annetta Felix. Let's start with our top story. If you check newspapers or scroll through social media pages, hardly passes a day without reports about ritual killings in different parts of Nigeria. These reports largely expose the desperation among some young Nigerians to make quick money and arguably embrace an expensive lifestyle. In our first story, Just Nigeria's Wale Fakile explores the dark world of money rituals. Here's the report. The guy wanted to kill, kill his mom for rituals. It's a dark and deadly phenomenon, masked in mysticism. Hey! It's so dark, perpetrators and preys are sometimes victims and pawns. There's nothing like it. They are just using you. Several lives cut short, many families ruined, some beyond redemption. That was how they ended the mission of my daughter here on earth. At the heart of this tragedy is the craze for money, blood money, and trapped in this great web of many young Nigerians. If you want to go further, that is when we call it Yahoo Plus. I'm seeking to know what is driving this thirst for fast wealth. Nigeria, Africa's largest economy, has a difficult history with advanced fee fraud. The emergence of cyber cafes in the 90s opened more access to email services and with them came more cyber scams. With promises of quick wealth mixed with greed, existing fraudsters were able to recruit young people. These online fraudsters were known as Yahoo Boys, named after their major tool of trade, Yahoo Mail. Several years down the line, something more sinister and dangerous was to emerge. It is known as Yahoo Plus. After several failed attempts at tracking the Yahoo boy, willing to unveil secrets of the practice, I meet up with this man who says he's now retired. He tells me he was once involved in the mysterious Yahoo Plus. We have hidden his identity for his safety. There are different types of Yahoo Plus. There are those who are told to submit their victim's name. Some are asked to eat prepared charms and cut incisions in their bodies, while others involve human sacrifice. So what were you told to do for your own rituals? The witch doctor gave me an eaten pot that contained blood, a live dog and black soap. I can't confirm if it was human blood. I was afraid to ask because a friend who asked in a separate ritual ran mad. I was instructed to take my bath with the black soap in the pot every night. But why are some of the victims killed by their so-called um, users. Victims are killed after they have been used and their fortunes spiritually taken away. This is so that they do not get healed and report the perpetrator. What I've just been told is shocking and almost unbelievable. But what is even more shocking is that behind these ugly revelations are dashed dreams and real families mentally torn apart. They are frustrating me, frustrating me. I, I Four years ago, Elizabeth Ogege's world came crashing down in Delta State, Southern Nigeria. Her last daughter, Elozino, 
an undergraduate of Delta State University, left the house on November 14, 2018, in search of an apartment on campus. It was the last time she would be seen alive. Her remains were found days later with body parts missing. She was allegedly murdered by suspected Yahoo boys for money rituals. They don't slaughter her. We don't know. I never believe because of the relationship I have with God, because of the relationship this girl have with God. A girl who never hurt anybody. A girl who loved people, even other people more than herself. Horrendous stories like Eluzino's underscore how much of a big problem ritual killings have become. Social media is daily littered with videos and stories of young people slain in cold blood. But do these rituals even work? Who are those behind the scenes fueling these grim acts? And is there any science behind the practice? These questions have been with me for years now. An acquaintance told me he nearly lost his life after attempting money rituals while we were both students at the university. He was instructed to exhume a female corpse and cut off the fingers and hair. He said he developed cold feet and did not return to the witch doctor. Days later, he fell seriously ill and had to go away from campus for months. That incident scares me till date. My quest for answers begins in Oshogbo, capital of Oshun State in southwestern Nigeria. I've come here to meet Tunrayu Egbetumishi, an Ifa priestess with a strong social media presence. Money ritual is quite different from blood money ritual. Let me, let me get that straight. Money ritual can be anything that we do just to enhance for possibly our business or our work to get more money. You know, I can be a trader now and I can do some sort of prayers to enhance my sales. That is quite different from killing someone and waiting in my room, expecting a miraculous money to come. Who, who exactly are those who carry out these blood money rituals? Uh, there are people they, there are people that engage in other spirituality that is not really um, Ifa-Orisha spirituality. But the only thing is just that the fact that they do not follow the path that has been laid down by Ifa, they are not Babalao. Egberto Mishi also tells me the consequences of using humans for money rituals far outweigh the so-called gains. What these people are after is just getting money. We don't know whether they are having problems in their homes. We don't know whether they are losing their children, whether they are losing their wives. Anything could be happening to them. I see that those things as consequences already. My next port of call is neighboring Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. I'm in the ancient city to see an Ifa diviner and priest, Oshuni Yolajide, who says human rituals for riches do not exist. He also has a strong presence on social media where he preaches against the practice. If anybody actually said they did money rituals, uh, maybe the priest or the person that actually did that thing for them, give them a worry. So he can collect the part of the body to use for other purposes. You as a young guy, you go to a priest or someone and say, I want to do this, like, he give you a also like, and you come back like, yeah, but I'm just seeing a small money, I didn't see big. He's going to use something on you. So that people can be like, maybe you, now the person run mad, they be like, ah, what he did? No, that's, there's nothing like that, it's a cause. Who are those people who are being deceptive? It might be people looking for power position in any aspect hmm? number one number two fame so i've heard the position of those who practice a traditional religion on this act although there seems to be a divide but what do academic scholars think about money rituals and blood money rituals Dr. Olale Kayode is a senior lecturer in African indigenous religions at the University of Ibadan. He is an authority on sacrifices, rituals, and alternative medicine in the Ifa divination system. He tells me 
blood money rituals are real. So where do spirits get this money from? The one they give to those who practice this, this act? Since they don't have their own uh, bank, they have to go and take it from somewhere. And they will go and take it from the existing uh, bank. Are you getting it now? They are not going to go and manufacture their own uh, money. No. Is there any scientific proof that supports that human rituals for money is real? My education will not uh, blindfold me. So it's all based on a belief and there is no hard evidence supporting this claim? It's not a belief, it's a reality. Nobody will come out to come and tell you that, except if something happened that is involved in so, so and so and so. But it's real. For those who we, eh, who have, eh, who has, uh, for those who have, uh, let them hear that that is a reward, eh? a negative reward. So it's been a cocktail of different positions and experiences on the existence of blood money rituals. But from what I've gathered so far, there is no hard scientific evidence to support claims that it exists. It's a split between African science, spirituality, and court Israel. Without finding any empirical evidence to suggest blood money rituals work, the criminal element of the practice and road to justice for victims is now a bigger concern. But the fundamental thing for us is that we are first and foremost investigating a murder case and every remedy that will be available to other victims of, of murder cases will be available to victims of murder cases even if they are ritual cases. The police spokesperson adds that religion society's adoration of wealth and Nollywood movies contributed to the menace. I've spoken to some of these producers and they say at the end of the day they pass a message that this thing doesn't work. But that's not what the young man out there is looking. The young man have watched the area where you created the facade that, that, that it works. And if we do not curb this delusion that these young people are having about m killing people to make money, it becomes a shared delusion amongst us in the society because what is basically delusion is when you hold something against your educational and cultural background. Oshuniye says traditional institutions need to do more and young Nigerians need to be more careful. Whatever your really that says you do, and you are doing it, you are going to succeed. Take that money ritual off your mind. There's nothing like it. They are just using you. If you belong to that generation that spend the bulk of your time on the cyberspace, you also need to be wary of people you meet online. Every family must sit down and be a role model to your child and, and be that person who will write the right things in the mind of that child. Poverty is prevalent in Nigeria and economic opportunities for young people of few and far between. There's also the unhealthy celebration and display of riches on social media with disregard for sources of such wealth. Families like Elozino Giges should not continue to receive the short end of the stick for this failure in Nigeria's value system that cuts across all facets of society. Wali Fakile, Just Nigeria. So sad. Now, do you have a personal story you'd like others to know about? Reach out to us on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. We'll be glad to hear from you. Still to come on Just Nigeria, Cape Verde's campaign to end malaria results in three years of no local transmissions. We'll bring you the story and more after the break. Stay with us.